Hey there, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done an updated mask collection, so I thought it would be fun to do one. I've definitely gone through some masks and have added some new ones into my collection, so I figured I would do a quick little talking points about each mask. And most of them do very similar things. They're either hydrating or exfoliating or detoxifying. It's pretty much they fall into just like similar categories. So let's get started. I thought I would first start with the sheet masks. And I've gone through quite a lot of sheet masks, but the ones I still have in my collection, because I have a good amount of them and I really love um, having them on hand because they're the most effective, is the SK2 Facial Treatment Mask. So this one, sorry, like I said, right? Always as soon as I get on camera, my face starts itching. The Facial Treatment Mask, it is as good as everyone says. I find that it's most effective when used prior to something like you're going somewhere special and you need your skin to kind of pull itself together immediately. So like an hour or two before you're going to start putting on your makeup or getting ready, apply this mask. It really helps to like plump up the skin, hydrate it, smooth it, and your makeup will go on flawlessly. Another one that I love is the Colbert MD Illumino Anti-Aging Brightening Mask. This is from his Illumino line. He makes the Illumino face oil that has retinol in it. It's so amazing. I've talked about it before in I think uh, my favorite retinol video and this one is great because it gives me just a little bit more brightness than the SK2 still hydrating and plumping most sheet masks that's what they're gonna do they're gonna be hydrating and plumping and smoothing and give you a shot of moisture it's just a matter of maybe what brand you like or maybe you see slight slight differences in some versus the other and oh my gosh I totally forgot to pull these out of the only other face mask that I forgot, the sheet masks that I have, are the pharmacy sheet masks. I have a few boxes of those, actually, and I just thought about that. They were in a lower drawer. That's why I didn't see them. Really recommend those. I like the texture of those pharmacy face masks. I'll link them below because they're really, really thin, so they completely, like, adhere to the skin, so there's hardly any, like, bubbles or wrinkles. Okay, the last one is the Joanna Vargas. This is the Forever Glow Anti-Aging Face Mask. This is a new one that I've tried recently. I already love Joanna Vargas. Her daily serum is like holy grail for me. And this is great. It's just hydrating, smoothing, gives your skin a little shot of moisture. If you're already a fan of Joanna Vargas, uh, definitely recommend testing those out. All right, we've got the Sicily Face Masks. These are some of those popular products in the Sicily line. You've got the Black Rose Cream Mask. This one is more smoothing, plumping, brightening. It's very, very rich. So I like to use more these more as a treatment rather than to sleep in them, though I do know a lot of people that love to sleep in them and get fantastic results. The Sicily Express Flower Gel. So this is a little bit more of a gel, um, a little bit lighter weight and very, very great for simply hydration. Like you really need a shot of water for your skin. I find that the Black Rose Cream Mask is more nourishing, more comforting. Then you have the Radiant Glow Express Mask. So this is great for giving your skin kind of an instant glow, a little bit of resurfacing, a little bit of exfoliation. It has um, red clay in it. So highly recommend trying it. If you want to kind of test out the Sicily line, I love it that they're bringing out, they brought out some like makeup products that are at like a good price point. And then these, they're definitely pricey for a mask, but for the Sicily price range, they're a great product to start with at the line because they are on the lower end of what their products could cost. And all right, two Omoro Bixa products. One, the Ultramore Mud Mask. Let me see if you can see this. It, it has like a shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see that. So my problem with mud masks always is they can often throw my skin off balance. Some of them do a really great job of like detoxifying, pulling out all those impurities, but then my skin is left really dry and almost uncomfortable. And then I could possibly maybe break out, become more oily. This does a great job of decongesting the skin and pulling out impurities, but it's so hydrating. So I love how it blends the two together. The Omarobixa Blue Diamond Resurfacing Peel. I have a lot of peels in my collection. This one, is more on the mild end, so I find that it does a good job of resurfacing, but is still very, very sensitive and gentle on the skin. So if you have sensitive skin, or you want to try a peel, but you don't wanna go for something really, really strong, this is a great option. We're talking really, really strong peels. Where is it? Where is it? Um, oh, here it is. 
my Arcona Raspberry Resurfacing Peel. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It is, this is probably my favorite peeling mask of all time. It doesn't peel off, but it's a peel and it's very strong. And the results that you get, sorry, I have like a hair in my face. It's like, I can feel it like tickling me. It is one of the strongest peels that I've tried, but not irritating. It's this very um, kind of lightweight gel texture, but my skin afterwards is so smooth and so bright. I have, this is probably my third or fourth tube that I have of this. Highly recommend um, using that if you really want a very strong peel. I don't get any flakiness afterwards or redness or irritation, but it does get the job done. All right, where am I gonna go next here? Oh, this one, the Emma Hardy uh, Age Support Instant Radiance Mask. Really um, a great one for just um, helping to firm the skin, plump it up, make it look very hydrated, supple. I don't find that it gives me too much of an exfoliation, but it's just more of like a, a radiance boosting mask. The Yes to Coconuts Ultra Hydrating Facial Mask. This is, it's okay. I love the Yes to Coconuts line, certain products from them. This is okay. Like in a pinch, if you're in the drugstore and you need to pick something up to help hydrate the skin, this is, it's good. Is it fantastic? No. A fantastic hydrating mask that I love is the Ling Skincare Ginseng Therapy Moisture Mask. I've talked about this in my winter skincare essentials. I am such a huge fan of Ling Skincare. She has a spa in New York City, but you can also purchase her products online. This particular um, mask is, it's very, it, it's a thin gel-like texture, but it does such a, it's probably one of my most hydrating masks out of everything. It's just, it feels almost like just water being injected into my skin. And so I put this on, leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes, and then just use a warm cloth and kind of tissue it off, and then kind of press whatever's left into the skin. Uh, like I said, it's like, Someone just shot moisture and water into the skin. It feels amazing. All right, where am I gonna go next here? We've got some masks that you mix. And I'm sure maybe you haven't seen these before. Maybe you have. A lot of um, brands are making kind of mineral masks or like kind of a loose powder mask that you put into a little cup or something and you mix them with water and it turns into a paste. Well, the two that I absolutely love, this one I love even more than this one, the MV Skincare Signature Mineral Mask. Probably in my top five favorite masks of all times. This pulls out gunk out of my face like nothing I've ever seen. I put this on and I remember like removing it with a warm cloth once I you know, mixed it with water, kind of painted it on my face with a little brush. And then when I was removing it, my pores, I was like, there's like all the gunk and dirt is coming out. And they looked so minimized afterwards, obviously, because there wasn't all the gunk and everything in them. And my skin was so hydrated afterwards. That was the key. This one, the May Lindstrom Problem Solver, is definitely great at like detoxifying. Where's my thing now? There we go. Great at detoxifying, but it can, my skin has got to be kind of in good shape to deal with this because if it has any like dry, irritated patches, it is very, very strong. So I find that it can irritate them a little bit more if my skin is kind of unbalanced or has any dry, itchy, irritated patches. This one is so soothing and gentle, but really does a great job of, of like decongesting the skin. This is very strong at decongesting the skin and pulling out all that gunk, but almost a little more exfoliating and a little bit stronger. So this is a sleeping mask. Now a sleeping mask I liken to a lot of people are like what's a sleep mask versus a regular mask. A sleep mask, I just think of it like a night cream. They call it a sleep mask, but it to me it's just a night cream. And you put it on at the end of your skincare routine, so it's normally the last product that you put on. The La Paris Skin Caviar Luxe Sleeping Mask. Oh my gosh, it comes with this little brush on the side. I mean, for this price point, obviously it should, but it's so decadent. This is very luxurious and decadent. It's one of those kind of, um, it's one of those sleeping masks or kind of night creams that just will pull your skin together. It helps to give it some firmness, some suppleness, some hydration, and it really comforts and nourishes the skin overnight. It's, a, I mean, it's a cult classic from them. 
and for good reason. Another sleeping mask that is great for just hydration and moisture is the Dr. Jart Water Max Sleeping Mask. Again, like I said, it is like, a, think of it like a night cream. This one is really good for just giving you uh, moisture and hydration. An exfoliating mask that I love, but it is very, very strong, is the Gentle Cream Exfoliant from Dermalogica. This really will exfoliate the skin and kind of give it like a peel. It has a, a peeling um, aspect to it, not peeling off, but you know, like the raspberry surfacing peel. But if my skin is irritated or dry or has any type of issues going on, this will inflame it almost. That my skin needs to be in good condition to take this because it is very strong. I did it one time when I had like a little irritated patch and afterwards I was like, oh, it just made it red and angry and inflamed and not pretty. All right, the, this mud mask I love and it's done wonders for my skin, but I need to use it again when my skin is a little, it's like tough enough to handle it. And my skin is quite tough and I can use most of these most of the time, but just recently over the past few months, I've kind of struggled with a little dry patch that keeps going and coming, going and coming. And when it's here, I need to be careful with the peeling masks or especially mud masks because they can really dry it out and make it even worse. But this is the from Nyad Skincare, the Flavanone, Flavanone Mud Mask. Very, very strong, really great at detoxifying the skin. It does help to balance my skin. My skin feels very, very balanced afterwards, though it is quite strong. All right, let's go, oh, this one. Dr. Hauschka Hydrating Mask. So this is, if, you've not, if you're not familiar with Dr. Hauschka, let me see if I can, I'm sure you guys are good, there we go. Dr. Hauschka is a, is a natural line, very, very gentle. I always say, if you have extra sensitive skin and like nothing seems to be working, Try Dr. Hauschka products because they tend to be the most gentle. This hydrating mask is just wonderful for hydrating the skin. And like I said, if you have extra sensitive skin or very irritated or maybe eczema prone skin or the winter time, your skin just doesn't want to handle anything. This is very, very calming and nourishing for the face. Another calming mask that I enjoy is the Mario Badescu Calma Mask. So this is not as calming, let's say, as the Dr. Hauschka, but definitely sometimes after I've used a mud mask, I will use this afterwards just to kind of balance my skin and help it calm down a bit. Why it's called the Calma mask. All right, we've got some first aid beauty masks. I've got, well, this is a peel. I always kind of think of peels in the mask category because I use them intermittently. Uh, throughout the week or throughout the month and I use them pretty much in the same step that I use masks so I think of them the same. The Facial Radiance Intensive Peel from First Aid Beauty. This is quite strong, definitely quite strong but kind of like I would say more medium strong than just medium. It's not as strong let's say as my Arcona but it's so good. But it kind of falls in the mid-range but if you're a First Aid Beauty Lover, you will love that mask. The 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask. This is so much fun. I showed this, I can't remember if I showed it on Instagram or how I showed it because it's really hard to see. It's like a bouncy texture so you you put your finger in it and it like literally like springs back. It's such a unique texture and you just take a little bit, it does break apart obviously when you put your fingers in it. It doesn't just stay kind of bouncy like that. It kind of breaks apart and you apply it over the skin. What I love about these bouncy masks that are coming out is they really make your skin quite supple. Like afterwards you're like, my skin feels a little bouncy. And it definitely gives your skin some moisture, but like I said, it, it feels a little bouncy as well. Got some Tata Harper masks here. And the two that I really love, the resurfacing mask, this was I think the first product that I tried from her. Great. Exfoliating mask, great for resurfacing the skin. Quite, I, I would say it's medium, like a medium intensity. I've um, even had some people give me feedback that have used it as like a spot treatment. If they're like breaking out or um, their skin is feeling a little congested, they'll like put it in that area and it really helps to clear up the skin. I haven't tried it that way yet. I tend to use it all over for more of a kind of resurfacing treatment. 
rather than like a decongesting treatment, but people have said great things about it. Also, the Honey Blossom mask that she came out with is very similar. It has a little bit more hydrating properties than the resurfacing mask. So the Honey Blossom mask, I don't know if it was limited edition. It might be limited edition, but I'll link it down below if I can find it anyway. And then the Purifying Mask, this is just a nice deep cleansing treatment. Great at detoxifying and pulling out impurities, but still hydrating. Not as hydrating, let's say, as my Omarovixa mud mask, but close. All right, we've got these two Kiehl's masks here. The Turmeric and Cranberry Energizing Radiance Mask and the Cilantro and Orange Extract Pollutant Defending Mask. I, I worked for Kiehl's many years ago, so I always have a soft spot for their products. They are, they're really great products. I wouldn't say they are like the most effective I've ever tried and they're definitely not, uh, they kind of fall in that mid range. Like I've, there's definitely some effectiveness with their products, but I wouldn't say they really are like the strongest on the market. I find I like a lot of their ingredients. I like their price point. And I like that they're kind of more of a unisex line. So I find that like men and women gravitate towards, even though men can use all the same skincare that we use pretty much. Sometimes they like to like have it designed for men or whatever, even though I'll give my husband a mask. I'm like, just use this. He's like, but you use it. I'm like, yeah, but it, we have skin. We both have skin. So you can use it too. These were, this was like a radiance mask to help kind of boost radiance. It, I, I couldn't leave it on too long because it did, you know, was a little strong for me. And my skin looked nice afterwards. The Pollutant Defending Mask, I mean, my skin looked kind of just nice and hydrated afterwards. Other than that, I didn't really know, it didn't feel like it did too much. There are um, other products from Kiehl's that I enjoy a little bit more. I like some of their cleansers, love their lip balm, their hand cream's amazing, their body cream, the creme de corps, oh, amazing. Those masks could just fall in my kind of like, huh, they were okay. This hair is like on my forehead. All right, what are, where are we going next here? Um, this Askia Renaissance mask. So if you're not familiar with Askia, it's in more of an all natural brand from the UK and their Renaissance cleansing gel, amazing. One of my favorite cleansers of all time. And this Renaissance mask is great. It's a resurfacing and brightening mask. So it really helps to give you a nice exfoliation. I would say it falls in the mid range. It's not quite like a very strong peel, but it really is great exfoliating and it'll help you give a little bit of boost of radiance for the skin. And if your skin maybe has a little bit bumpiness, I think, I think using something like this could be really great just to kind of help with texture. All right, the Dr. Brandt Oxygen Facial. This is that, those kind of masks that you put on, they like bubble up on the skin. I enjoy it and it, really helps to like, you know, give it a little boost of radiance and hydration. I wouldn't say it's my favorite bubbling up mask. And I just realized that I forgot to bring you my favorite bubbling up mask. And it is by the same brand that made this ginseng therapy moisture mask. It's by Ling Skincare. I will link it below. They come in little individual packets. That bubbling up mask is like mind blowing. That really um, does some work, some magic on my skin. I find this, I enjoy it. I, I, would I repurchase it? No. The Skin Purifying Mask from First Aid Beauty. This is my second um, tube of this. These are the, this is a peel off mask. So this is like you put it on and then you peel it off. I really, first of all, I love that peeling off aspect of it. And First Aid Beauty, their products just really work for my skin and they're very, very gentle for my skin. So I love this one. Some peel off masks, like I feel like they're just like peeling off my face with them. This does not, it's very gentle when it's very easy to peel off. And I love kind of like analyzing my face afterwards. I'm like, Ooh, what kind of impurities did it pull out of my pores? I know, I know you guys do that too. So don't even like give me the, Oh, that's creepy and gross. I know you guys do that too. I'm sure you did with that with the Biore pore strips. Who didn't do that in high school? Take out your Biore pore strips, put them on with your friends, take them off and like all like look at the little forests that were on them gross, but so satisfying somewhat because you're like, oh, it's out of my skin. And now I can look at it like and see that it came out of my skin. I know you guys do it too. All right. The Chantecaille Fruit and Flower Acids Mask. 
This is an exfoliating mask from Chantecai and great because it does some resurfacing while hydrating at the same time. And the Clinique Turnaround Revitalizing Instant Facial. I'm currently using the Turnaround um, Essence from this line. Really enjoy it. This is just like a nice hydrating facial mask. Nothing, you know, amazing. The um, Essence that I'm using from that line, amazing. All right, the Shiseido Ibuki Beauty Sleeping Mask. So this I use in place of a night cream. And I love it because it really gives like a nice retexturizing on the skin. It has, um, I believe it has salicylic acid in it. I have to double check. But I know that when I wake up in the morning, my skin is so smooth. And I love it, especially when my skin is a little congested and breaking out. It really does wonders for helping kind of clear up my skin over the course of a few days. The Darfon Stimulus Skin Plus Serum Mask. This is supposed to be like a mask and a serum together. I find that a lot of masks... Um, I know it says it on here, but a lot of masks I love, like once I'm done to kind of push the remaining product into the skin, that's what I do with this. Very comforting, nourishing, super hydrating. If you're a fan of Darfon, highly recommend um, trying that out. I've got some masks from Shawl, S-J-A-L. I love their cleanser, their deep pore cleanser. One of my favorite cleansers of all time. This Shawl Perfecting Mask. And then we have the exfoliating mask. The exfoliating mask is a nice kind of medium strength exfoliating mask. This perfecting mask has like a little bit of shimmer to it. It's hard to see really, but this really helps to like brighten the skin and, and hydrate it and leave it a little glowy afterwards. The Tula exfoliating treatment mask. My mom really loves this mask. Very strong, really gives you a strong exfoliation. And uh, oh my gosh, I'm almost done with this one. And my mom just keeps buying this one over and over again. She really likes it. it. It's okay for me, but she just swears by it. All right, the um, number seven Beautiful Skin Purifying Mask for normal to oily skin. I thought this was good. I did find my skin was a little dry afterwards. So that's like one of the mud masks that I say that can be a little drying. And then the Herbivore Brighten Instant Glow Mask. So this is more of like a resurfacing mask, exfoliating, slight peel, and... I just love the herbivore packaging. It's so chic and minimalistic and just beautiful. This one, I would say it was like medium to medium strong um, exfoliation and really, you know, great for giving you any type of like resurfacing mask does give you like an instant glow. I do need to use a little bit of moisture afterwards. So spray my skin with like a hydrating mist or use an essence afterwards just to add back in a touch more moisture. And then we've got the Fresh Peony Brightening Treatment Night Mask. This helps to like diminish dark spots and even skin tone. I mean, I don't really feel it did that much for me. So there are some fresh masks that I like even more. I don't have them because I've finished them already. This one was just kind of like, okay. And then the Murad Instamat Oil Control Mask. This I like to use only in the summer because it really does mattify the skin and help to control excess oil, but I only like it when I'm actually really, really oily. So sometimes I'll use it in the morning before I'm getting ready. If I'm, it's like a really hot, humid day or my skin's just like all over the top oily and just put, put it on as I'm, you know, starting my skincare and then kind of tissue it off and then move on to the rest of my skincare um, routine. And I do, I do find that it does help to mattify my skin and, you know, control a little bit more of the oil production that I have. But it can be a tad drying, so I have to make sure that I use a good hydrating, you know, system afterwards, whether it be an additional essence and then a hydrating serum and then a really great daytime moisturizer or SPF that really won't, uh, you know, dry up my skin or kind of strip it. So that's my current mask collection. Probably, I'm sure I probably forgot one or two lying around here because I was like, trying to go through all my drawers and I have things organized, but not the best right now that I need to kind of get new um, cabinets and start a new system. So I hope this was helpful and I'll link everything down below and I'd love to know if you've tried any of these or what your some of your favorite masks are. Leave me a comment below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.